then coming to the chain serving so chain serving is the simplest form of serving in this method the length of lines marked on the fields are measured while the details are measured by offset from these lines chain serving is a type of serving in which only linear measurements are taken in the field this type of serving is done for serving of small extent to describe the boundaries of plot and to locate the exist existing feature on them it is the method of serving in which the area is divided into network of triangles and the side of the various triangles are measured directly in the field with a chain or tape and no angular measurements are taken this is the principle of chain serving this slide refers to principle of chain serving the principle of chain serving is to divide the area into number of triangles as a triangle it is the only simple plane geometrical figure which can be plotted from the length of three sides even if the angles are not known a network of triangle is preferred to a chain serving triangulation is the principle of chain serving if the area to be surveyed is is triangle in shape and it and if the length and sequence of three sides are recorded the plan of area can be easily drawn this slide refers to well condition triangle ill condition triangle and ideal condition triangle these definition are important in view of the principle of chain serving a triangle is said to be well condition triangle when no angle in it is neither less than 30 degree nor greater than 120 degree then we will see what is ill condition triangle if in a triangle an angle is less than 30 degree or greater than 120 degree then that particular triangle is called ill condition triangle then we will see what is equilateral triangle or what is ideal triangle an equilateral triangle is a triangle having each angle of 60 degree is an ideal triangle then in this particular slide we are just going to see what are the different instrument used for chain survey those are chain or tape for measuring the distance arrows to fix a to fix a point after a after chain is laid then pegs to mark the station points the ranging rods to represent the points on the chain line offset rod it is used for measuring the offset length lats or voids for fixing the points lumb rope in order to check the verticality cross top it is used for taking the offset and mallet is used for fixing the uh, type uh, fixing the pegs in the ground so in this particular diagram you will know, observe that the the principle of chain serving here in this particular sketch you will observe a b c d e and a it is a closed traverse so here a b c d e a it is a closed traverse and therefore at station a b c d e pegs are fixed so these are called control points a b c d e they are called control points and therefore and we are interested to calculate the area a b c d e a at the same time we are interested to plot the field on a paper so here in order to plot the given closed traverse we are supposed to establish the line joining the control points here a to c this is a one line which is going to join the two control points similarly the line from e to c it is also called as a subset line it is going to connect the two control stations so whenever so here b1 is a point lying along the line ac so in order to fix the position b we are supposed to drop a perpendicular from station b which is going to make an angle of 90 degree to the line ac 
so that it is possible to calculate the area a b b dash similarly it is possible to calculate the area b b dash c similarly we are supposed to divide the area into triangles generally well conditioned triangle and here you will observe that a b b dash b b, b dash c a c e and e c d these are the triangles and the given area is divided into triangles this is called principle of chancery means we are dividing the given area into number of triangles so that it is possible to calculate the whole area by adding the area of individual triangles so that it is possible to calculate the total area comes under the closed traverse a b c d e a so this is a way how to proceed so here in this particular diagram you observe that from control station e the and along the line ac one right angle is established so that it is possible to calculate the area more accurately similarly if you consider the control point that is e and c here also there is one point d1 which is established from station d which is going to make an angle 90 degree to the line ec so that again we can self divide the given area into triangles so that it is possible to calculate the area more accurately then we will see the suitability of chain survey chain surveying is recommended when ground surface is more or less level and area to be surveyed is very small at the same time small scale map is required to prepare formation of well conditioned triangles or ag so these are the circumstances under which we can go for chain surveying then following are the situation where the chain surveying is not recommended first point area is crowded with many details area consist of too many undulations area is very large formation of well conditioned triangle is not easy so these are the unsuitability where we are unable to carry the chain survey then we are going to see the different terms in the chain survey in the previous slide also we have seen the terms used in the chain surveying basically there are survey stations in the chain surveying so survey stations are the points at the beginning and at the end of chain line they may occur at any convenient position on the chain line such station may be called as main station subsidiary station and tie station means we are considering any point and they are depend upon the locations they can be called as main station subsidiary station and tie stations so in this particular diagram you will observe that the the principle of chain surveying here in this particular sketch you will observe a b c d e and a it is a closed traverse so here a b c d e a it is a closed traverse and therefore at station a b c d e pegs are fixed then coming to the subsidiary station these are the stations which are on the main survey lines or any other survey lines known as subsidiary stations these stations are taken to run subsidiary lines for dividing the area into triangles for checking the accuracy of triangles and for locating the interior details subsidiary stations are required so this is a way how to proceed so here in this particular diagram you observe that from control station e the and along the line ac one right angle is established so that this slide refers to well conditioned triangle ill conditioned triangle and ideal conditioned triangle 
these definitions are important in view of the principle of chain setting. A triangle is said to be well conditioned triangle when no angle in it is neither less than 30 degree nor greater than 120 degree. Then we will see what is ill conditioned triangle. If in a triangle an angle is less than 30 degree or greater than 120 degree then that particular triangle is called ill conditioned triangle. This slide refers to check line. It is a line joining the apex point of a triangle to some fixed points on its base is known as check line. It is taken to check the accuracy of a triangle. Sometimes the line helps to locate the interior details. Also in case of absence of angular measurement, the check line can be used to plot the given area very accurately. This line refers to the baseline. The baseline is a line on which the framework of survey is built. It is most important line in the surveying. Generally the longest of main survey line is considered as a baseline. The line should be laid on a fairly level ground and should be measured very carefully and accurately. The baseline is shown in the diagram. Then we are going to see the how to select the surveying stations. It should be visible from at least two or more stations. The survey station as far as possible, main line should run on level ground. All triangles should be well conditioned, should not be less than 30 degree. Main network should have as few lines as possible. Each triangle should have at least one check line. Obstacle to ranging and chaining should be avoided. Sides of larger triangles should pass as close to boundary lines as possible. Baseline should be longest survey line. Survey line should be taken close to boundary line so that they can be located by short offset. This slide refers to well conditioned triangle, ill conditioned triangle and ideal conditioned triangle. These definitions are important in view of the principle of chain setting. A triangle is said to be well conditioned triangle when no angle in it is neither less than 30 degree. This slide refers to offset. So offset is nothing but it is the lateral measurement taken from the chain line or survey line. There are different type of offsets namely perpendicular offset and oblique offset. If the object to be located is curved in shape then more number of offsets are required for measuring offset types are commonly used also depending upon the length the offsets are classified as short offset and long offset if the length of offset is less than 15 meter then it is called short offset whereas if the length of object from the survey line is greater than 15 meter then the lateral measurement we are going to call it as a long offset. The most commonly short offsets are preferred. Whereas the perpendicular offset, the offset which are taken perpendicular to the chain line are termed as perpendicular offset. These offsets are taken by holding zero end of the tape at the object and swinging the tape on the chain line. The shortest distance measured from object to the chain line is usually the perpendicular offset. We can set the right angle by different method by making use of the method known commonly used in the on the site that is 345 and we can use the instruments such as cross tab or optical square. Perpendicular offset usually preferred than the oblique offset. This slide refers to perpendicular offset in which on the right part building object is shown whereas on the left the chain line is shown. The lines from the object that is buildings which are, which are shown horizontally they are called offset and they are going to make an angle of 90 degree to the chain line. Therefore all the dotted lines which are drawn horizontally 
which are shown horizontally in this particular diagram are called perpendicular offset the next type of offset is oblique offset oblique distance is always greater than perpendicular offset all the offset which are not taken at the right angle to the chain line are known as oblique offsets this slide refers to oblique offset on the left part the chain line is shown whereas on the right part the building is shown and the inclined lines starting from the end of the um, building towards the chain lines are shown and they are called oblique offset they are not going to make an angle of 90 degree the angle is other than 90 degree therefore the offset is called oblique offset then in this particular slide we are just going to see what are the different instrument used for chain survey those are chain arrow tape for measuring the distance arrows to fix a to fix a point after uh, after chain is laid then pegs to mark the for setting perpendicular offset any of the following methods are used one is swinging second is using cross staff and third is using optical or prism square this slide refers to perpendicular offset by swinging in this method the chain is stretched along the survey line and assistant holds the end of the tape on the object surveyor swings the tape on chain and select the point on chain where offset distance is less then the distance is noted as well as offset reading in a field book on a neat sketch is prepared to indicate the perpendicular offset so this is a diagram which indicate the perpendicular offset by swinging